Hello, my name is Gabe Zolna. You know what's interesting is that uh, the 2012 election, I think it proved a couple of uh, realities. And the first reality is that in all probability it will be the last election. And the reason that is, is under our present system, our election process simply doesn't work. Third world countries have a better system than we do. And the reason that is, is that, uh, you know, our soldiers went over to Afghanistan and Iraq and many of them died, many of them are crippled because of their service to allow those uh, individuals to vote. And their system's dramatically different than ours. Theirs works and ours doesn't work. And the reason theirs works is they don't need voter ID because what happens is that as soon as a uh, citizen votes, they uh, have one of these. And what they do is they uh, dip their finger into one of these. And then by doing that, they can't vote again because that's an indelible ink and it'll be there for a period of time. They also don't allow absentee votes. And that would get rid of a tremendous amount of uh, fraudulent votes here in America. The only people that I think should be allowed to vote absentee are military or citizens that live abroad, not are traveling abroad. If they're uh, citizens here and they want to vote, they should make an effort to be in the country when it's time to vote. But citizens that actually reside abroad should be allowed to vote absentee, as should uh, the military. But I don't think anything that matters. And the reason I don't think anything that matters is because I think what Obama's going to do, and I've said this, if you've watched any of my previous videos, I've said this numerous times, is uh, he's going to modify or eliminate certain portions of the Constitution, if not the Constitution entirely. And what he's going to use as an argument is, well, it seems to be unfair that the president only can have two four-year terms, where a senator has six-year terms and he's eligible for re-election over and over and over again. Right, Senator McCain? Right, uh, Senator Barbara Feinstein? Right, Senator Barbara Boxer? And it goes on and on and on and on. And the uh, argument, again, will be that uh, it's not fair that they can and the president can't. So what I think will happen in 216 is that he will run again. And because of all the uh, presence he's going to be giving over the next four years and has been giving, he will remain in power. And the Republicans, well, I think they're pretty much done like toast. You know, they're burnt. They're finished. They don't have any authority. They don't have any leadership. Uh, they've got uh, John Boner, who has a tremendous suntan, so he obviously spends a lot of time on a golf course, and that's his business. But uh, it would be okay if he did that, as long as he did his job to protect the American people, but he's not doing that. Boner tends to roll over and uh, try to avoid any kind of direct conflict. And the reason he does that is he wants to remain in power for as long as he can as well. They're all like that. There's not a senator that's not like that. Uh, Arizona, I believe, uh, just elected a new senator that was recommended uh, by uh, the uh, existing senator that's about to retire, John Kyle. And that's Jeff Flake. And Jeff Flake was a congressman for, uh, I think he served five terms. And after the second term, or into the second term, he said he would never try to run for a third or fourth or fifth. Well, when he was questioned uh, during his run for the Senate, uh, he said, I lied. At least he was honest about it in the fact that he's a liar. I think that speaks highly of his, uh, his character. Joke, if you don't know that's a joke, that is a joke, it's a sad joke, but that's the state of what we're dealing with. That's rampant throughout. Uh, right now, it's also my understanding that uh, Senator Kyle um, endorsed John Kerry to be uh, the new Secretary of State instead of... Uh, Susan Rice with all the heat she's feeling over what happened with Benghazi. Uh, I don't know if either one's qualified, but I definitely know that uh, John Kerry shouldn't be qualified based on what he did when he was running for president and what came out when he was running for president based on his experience in Vietnam and how he treated other fellow American soldiers. But you know what? The reality is that it won't matter if Obama wants Susan Rice to be Secretary of State, guess what? She will be Secretary of State. And that's just another example of it really doesn't matter. 
Our Congress has absolutely no authority. They have no power. They have, uh, all they have is a very nice lifestyle as long as they're in power. Anyway, I hope I'm wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong. I believe this is the last real presidential election, and it was stolen. Thanks.